Hey everyone, welcome to Dark Theory, Inc. Tonight we're diving into a tale that will make you think twice about being alone at home. But before we get into it, if you love the thrill of fear creeping down your spine and the chill of the unknown, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps us keep creating the spine-chilling content that you crave. Now let's get into the story. It was a cold, rainy night when Olivia found herself alone at home. Her parents were out of town, and her younger brother was staying at a friend's place. It was just her, the steady hum of rain and the flickering lights from a distant street lamp outside. She was scrolling through her phone, trying to distract herself from the uneasy feeling that had settled in her chest. Every creak of the house seemed louder. Every shadow seemed to stretch and move in unnatural ways. Then, as she glanced up, she saw something, or rather, someone, standing just outside her window. A figure shrouded in darkness, standing still, watching her. Olivia froze, her breath catching in her throat. At first, she thought it must be a trick of the light or her imagination playing games with her. But then the figure moved. Slowly, the stranger's face leaned into the dim glow from the street lamp, revealing eyes that seemed almost hollow. A mouth twisted into a smile that didn't quite belong to a human. She quickly pulled the curtains closed, her heart pounding like a drum in her ears. Taking deep breaths, she tried to rationalize what she'd seen. Maybe it was just a prank, a neighbor trying to scare her. She turned back to her phone to call someone, anyone, but the screen flickered and died in her hands. The power went out, plunging the house into pitch black darkness. As Olivia fumbled for a flashlight, she heard something she couldn't ignore, a faint tap tap tapping on the window. It was rhythmic, slow, like someone deliberately trying to get her attention. With shaking hands, she crept toward the window, peeking out from the edge of the curtain. There was nothing there. The stranger was gone. Relief washed over her, but just as quickly, it was replaced by dread as she saw muddy footprints leading away from the window. They trailed off, not to the road, but around the house, towards the back door. She moved cautiously, trying to keep quiet, hoping that whoever or whatever was outside wouldn't hear her. But as she reached the back of the house, her blood ran cold. The back door was slightly ajar. She knew she locked it. She always locked it. A soft whisper echoed through the darkness. I'm already inside. The lights flickered back on for just a moment. And in that brief flash, she saw him standing at the end of the hallway. His eyes were wide and staring, his mouth now grinning far too wide, as if his face was stretched by invisible hands. And then, the lights went out again. But this time, there was no tapping on the window, no whisper from the dark just the slow, deliberate sound of footsteps approaching her, each step louder than the last, echoing through the silence of the house. Olivia's scream echoed into nothingness as the screen goes black. If you made it to the end of this story, you're one of the brave ones. Remember, you never know who's outside your window, or worse, who's already inside. If you enjoyed tonight's terrifying tale, please hit that like button and subscribe to Dark Theory, Inc. It helps us keep bringing you these haunting stories from the shadows. Until next time, keep your doors locked, your windows shut, and never, ever ignore the stranger outside. Ah.